Tom Kiffin. And welcome back to Local 3 News at 6. Local 3 Radar Network does show precipitation, rain, and also some wintry precipitation. Some of this, though, may not be reaching the ground because we still have some dry air to overcome, but still, we could see some rain showers tonight. Early on, we could see some wintry precipitation. It's not going to add up to much or cause much in the way of headaches tonight, but as we get later on in the night, any precipitation type should be in the form of rain. You can see this is moving from west to east across the UP, and this is all associated with a strong low pressure system. You can see this counterclockwise swirl here across the Saskatchewan. This will be moving across the Canadian prairies, and then eventually tomorrow in the northern Ontario, out ahead of it where we will be tonight and tomorrow morning for a good chunk of tomorrow afternoon on the warm side of things. But as a cold front crosses on through, that's currently across the northern plains in North Dakota, look for chillier temperatures to come back along with a chillier wind. All right, let's look at temperatures right now. 32, the freezing market, Soria International, but as you can see, milder air already trying to get in here. We got 41 for Escanaba, 43 for Menominee. And as we look at today's high temperatures today, most of us are at our current high temperatures right now at six o'clock. And temperatures, I think for highs for today officially may not come until later tonight. Watch temperatures here on the clock as we go through the night. They're gonna be increasing here. And in fact, by tomorrow morning, we're looking at temperatures perhaps along Lake Michigan well into the 40s and most spots even out west should be around 40 by early tomorrow morning Four temperatures tomorrow afternoon 40s may be approaching 50 along Lake Michigan and in the eastern UP but already in the mid afternoon already chillier air approaching the far west and then as we go into tomorrow afternoon late into tomorrow evening chillier air moves in and then Thursday's a chillier day with highs as you can see here around the 30 degree mark or the 30s. We're all going to see the wind here and it's going to be a milder wind tonight out of the south, perhaps gusting over 30 miles per hour, perhaps over 40 miles per hour, and that may bring some Lake Michigan water on shore in Delta, perhaps Schoolcraft counties. Then as we go into Tuesday morning, we keep some wind around, but watch what happens as we go into late in the afternoon, Wednesday on into Wednesday evening. This is a chillier wind and perhaps tomorrow evening the winds could gust over 40 miles per hour in the copper country and then and on Thursday, that chillier wind continues, perhaps gusting over 25, maybe over 35 miles per hour. And then as we get to Friday, we are looking for the winds to calm on down. As for future weather tonight, some rain showers, perhaps some wintry precipitation early. And then as we get into the overnight hours, any precipitation should be all rain. And where we've had some snow over the past couple of days, that's where we could also see some fog, perhaps locally dense fog tonight. So just be aware of that. Tomorrow afternoon, we're dry, but watch what happens as the chillier air moves in on a west to southwest wind. The lake effect snow gets going in the copper country tomorrow night. And then as we go in to Thursday morning, as the winds start to turn more westerly, then eventually west to northwesterly, that lake effect snow starts to get going in the usual spots. East of Marquette, Munising, Grand Marais, Muscalunge State Park, and north of Newberry. I'll just let this roll here as we go through the Wednesday night, Thursday time frame. As you can see, the numbers adding up here in the copper country and also in the western UP. And then as we get into Thursday, Thursday on into Thursday night, the numbers start to add up a little bit as you go east of Marquette. Here's our community forecast here. Copper Harbor tonight, 38, 37 for Houghton, and then 40 for Ontonaga and Lons and Berica. And then as we go into the western UP along the Michigan-Wisconsin border, you can see temperatures here in the 30s for both the west and the copper country. Temperatures by early tomorrow morning will be around 40. For south central UP and along Lake Michigan, temperatures will be in the 40s here tonight with some rain showers and some potential fog. And that's gonna be the same for the eastern UP. UP upper 30s to around 40 and in fact into the 40s by mid by the morning hours and then in and around Marquette County we got temperatures in the 30s now but they'll be on the rise towards midnight and the early morning hours on Wednesday for Marquette tonight 30s lower 40s by the morning hours seven days 44 for Wednesday 33 chillier for Thursday a little bit milder for Friday and Saturday and then turning winter like for the second half of the weekend and into early next week for Escanaba and Gladstone temperatures stay in the 40s tonight with some light rain 48 may be pushing 50 tomorrow, chillier for Thursday, 39 for Friday, 43 for Saturday, and then turning colder late Sunday and into early next week. Becca, we'll send it back over to you.